Shower wall options are big and can be a challenging decision during bathroom remodeling. What kind of waterproof system should I use? What tiles to choose? Who's going to install it? How to install it? How much would it cost? How long will the warranty last? There is much to be concerned about. What if a piece of glass solves all of your problems and you can have any picture or print in any color you want in your shower? Make your imaginations reality. Hi everybody, my name is Ono. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how do I install the picture behind the glass wall in the shower. There is a separate video about how we remodeled the rest of the bathroom, so if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. We recently moved into this house from the 1970s that was not maintained well. As a result, I will have a series of videos of how I will fix this house. When I was designing the bathroom, I realized that this wall was the most important one in the room. I also wanted this wall to look deep, interesting, and reflective. I wanted to achieve it in the fastest, most inexpensive way I could. It appeared as if no matter what tiles I chose, they wouldn't match my imagination. So I came up with this idea of picture glass wall. Prefabricated shower base can't be used with a glass wall. This is because shower bases move and glass can't be sitting on something that moves. That is why I built my shower pan by watching pros on YouTube. Pros built their shower pans in 15 to 20 minutes. With no experience, probably take it maybe 20 minutes or so, a half hour to lay it down. What did that take me about 15, 20 minutes? So. But it took me five hours. I wanted my shower pan slope to be precise and perfect. That purple wall was before I applied my print. I used a drywall joint compound on the drywall seam and sanded it out smoothly. The print has an adhesive backing and all I had to do was spray water to activate the adhesive. Make sure to follow the instructions that come with the print carefully. It's important to get the bubbles out and wipe off extra paste. Honestly, I was worried about overlapping them and I thought it would show seams. I can't even see them now, so I'm very happy. For the picture, I wanted something contemporary and natural. I searched for pictures of plants with a modern pot from Shutterstock and found this cactus picture that I love, then got it printed by Megaprint.com. They offer several different styles to choose from in terms of gloss and thickness. I ordered a matte wallpaper with an adhesive back. A 5x7 print cost me $210. It was printed on two separate papers. When I applied those pieces to the wall, they overlapped by an inch. Even so, it was surprisingly seamless. After the glass was placed, I installed the drywalls on the side to hold the glass. I was told that it is extremely important that edges of the tempered glass sit against padding. If you put bare tempered glass edges on concrete, it will break. I filled the joints between glass and tiles with bathroom silicone. I chose gray silicone to match with the color. The white trim I used for the corner is the same trim I used for the base of the glass. I used the same bathroom silicone on the top of the glass as well. I 
I tried to explain this idea to a local glass company, but they didn't seem to understand and they must have thought I lost my marbles. So, I just went ahead and ordered a piece of tempered glass with a quarter inch thickness. It was about a 5 by 7 foot piece of glass that cost me $333. Make sure that all four edges of the glass are airtight and watertight. Shower glass wall must. 1. Must have tempered glass. 2. The glass must be sitting on a floor without movement. And 3. The bottom edge of the glass must be sitting on padding. 